So let's look at the Juniper, Junos simulator. First what we'll do is we'll, we'll connect to a real device. Uh, we'll set up a Juniper device with an EM1 interface address of 192.168.1.150 and we've also created the Telnet service. So we should be able to connect into it. And along with this we've set up Fred as a user as a password. Okay, so we go straight in, if we turn that in, we go straight into the operational mode. So you can see that here. So we can do things such as ping. Let's ping our own port. And it's working fine. And we, if we want to configure the device, here is, uh, if we want to configure the device, we go into configuration mode and here we can actually see our configuration so there you go, there's the telnet service and then we should also have a user called Fred set up here we go, this is Fred and what we've done is we've connected to this port here which is the EM1 port Within the configuration mode, we can then set certain parameters up. So setting system, and then the host name, and so on. Once we're happy with the configuration, we say commit. It takes a little minute. And then we should be able to exit this and go back into operational mode. Okay, so let's go now to the simulator. Okay, so we'll just boot the device. Put the username and password in. So we actually start off on the device in a, in a Linux type mode. So you can see here it's a standard Linux device. If we prefer, we can use this window here. Okay, so what we do is we go into the command line interface mode. And from in here we can see we're now in our operational mode. So we can use things like Telnet, SSH, Ping and, and so on. So we want to configure the CLI interface. Okay, so we can configure that to have certain timeouts and so on. So first thing we'll do is we'll set the idle timeout to be 11 minutes and it will log out after that amount of time. It's good to keep this value low for security. So we'll set up the idle timeout and that's 11 minutes. We'll set the screen width to be one character and and so on. So for these parameters, such as the host name, we now go into the configuration mode. Okay, so we've got a whole lot of new commands that we can use. The main ones we're going to use is set system. And in this case we're going to use set system host name. System and it's now domain name. And so on. So we're going to have a look at our configuration to see if everything's been set okay. And then once we're happy, we can commit it. And from there, we can then exit and we're back into operational mode. Okay, so this has been a very quick introduction to the Juniper Simulator.